Yeah, I've, I've always been kind of into video games. Um, that's, that's a lie, actually, we'll start again. <laughs> Good start. I mean, when you're doing this kind of thing, you, you, of course, you kind of daydream about what it would be like to be the, you know, the next big indie superstar dev or whatever. Um, you know, especially, you know, watch, in, watching an indie game the movie and going, oh, I can't be one of those guys kind of thing. As someone who was, you know, a dude sat at a desk in like a 30, 40 man team, there was something really appealing about these people who were making games in their bedrooms. Like, it just seemed really cool to me that they had all that freedom, they could make whatever they wanted. Um, and I kind of was jealous, basically. It was driven entirely by jealousy. Thomas Was Alone uh, started, it was basically, um, it was because I was, I was really into indie games. Me and a friend had been talking about like the idea of characters jumping on top of each other and what if a character can do this and they, we, we actually, the plan was that they'd be tied together by a rope um, and I kind of started making it and then never got around to putting the rope in but made one of them jump higher and we realised that was interesting so it kind of, that flash prototype, that kind of initial made over a weekend game did really well. Thomas Was Alone was kind of a game that I made very consciously of kind of like I have no money and no resources, I'll make the smallest game I think I can make that people might play. Um, volume is the, oh wow, I actually have like money and resources to make whatever I want now, so I, I'll make this game. We're not in an office. We uh, we all work remotely, um, and that's you know that's a weird way of working. So basically, what happens is you know every week or every day, basically, I'll wake up, um, I'll somehow manage to get to this desk, um, and then we'll have our morning meeting, and that involves you know the coders jump on, and we all have a chat on Skype and talk about what we're doing through the day, um, and then we'll have the Skype chat open throughout the day. So it's kind of we have the office chatter going on. And it's kind of freeform, it's kind of, uh, it's a messy way of working, but I kind of like that because it means people kind of do weird stuff and everyone works how they're comfortable working. You know, everyone has the perfect office environment because they got to pick it, it's their own home. So Volume is a stealth game. It's kind of, um, it's, it's all the bits and pieces I like in stealth games that I kind of often ignore. And a big part of that is they're not killing enemies. So normally in a stealth game, you, you move around a space and you bot people on the back of the head. And that's kind of how you play every level. That's how I play stealth games and how a lot of people I talk to play stealth games. Um, in Volume, you, we don't give you that opportunity. You can't kill an enemy. An enemy can't leave the space. An enemy can't be knocked out permanently. You know, it's, it's, it can't be removed from play. And that means that all of the stuff that you previously ignore in most stealth games, the kind of little gadgets and gizmos and weird avoidance techniques, um, they suddenly become the way of playing the game. And it kind of lets us kind of foreground these weird gadgets and noise makers and cloaks and disguises and all this, this cool Mission Impossible stuff that, that you never really touch. Do you think we're heroes, Rob? Do you think anyone will sing songs about what we did tonight? I believe they will. I have to believe they will. I was always told my family protected the people. And I want to try and make good on that. This is the origin of Rob Loxley. This is the kind of, this is, this is the kid. Um, in every version of Robin Hood, there is a kind of an inciting moment. The moment that he becomes an outlaw, basically. That, 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 that moment, that, that section of his life where he realizes he's on the wrong side of this and becomes someone else. So our thinking is to take this contemporary character version of this and think what would this kind of person be nowadays? He wouldn't be a, um, he wouldn't just be, you know, hiding in the woods going after rich noblemen. He'd be, he'd be much bigger with it. And so ours is a YouTuber. He's a, essentially a broadcaster, a let's player of crime. He, he, he finds this training simulator that's been used by the bad guys uh, and starts just using it to film himself showing how to rob from rich people. Uh, and the game takes place over essentially the three hours before he's captured for doing that. The, the level of responsibility is scary. I try not to think about it too much. It's yeah. The reality is, um, you know, if the game's not good, that's my fault. Um, if the game if the game's not working, if we don't hit a deadline, we need to hit. That's my fault. Uh, it's my money basically paying for the entire project from Thomas was alone. Um, so there's a lot of stuff bearing down and a lot of kind of voices in your head, kind of with this stuff. But 
Honestly, I try not to think about it. <laughs> I deny it. I, I don't. I don't interact with it. I don't think anyone makes video games because they are a good, reliable business. I, I, just, I don't think that's why people make video games. If I wanted that, I would run a shop or, you know, I'd work in insurance. You know, what I think most people do is is this is this is a childhood hobby that somehow we managed to pay our rent with, um, and that's such an amazing opportunity and. I kind of don't want to miss, I don't want to waste that opportunity. Um, honestly, if this was the peak, if this, if this could hopefully continues for a few more years and then I kind of go back into obscurity a little bit, I'd be happy. I just want to keep making video games. And as long as the universe will allow me to continue to make video games, I'm fine. And Rob? Yeah? This is the right solution, yes? Thank you.